everyone welcome back to another video we're going to do some sorrel jelly today and guess what sorrel is in season as you guys know and this is another way you can utilize it all right so we're going to need for this sorrel you're going to need one pound of sorrel some sugar you can use any sugar um you prefer um we're going to use lime and the lime will act as the um pectin and also some orange you can use your spices because you want you want this sorrel to be very nice and flavorful guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment subscribe to the channel let's get straight into this one guys remember how we're going to do it is make a reduction of the sorrel right so we not we don't want to use a lot of water so we're going to use one cup of water our orange ginger cinnamon some clove bay leaf you can put in your sorrel and remember when the sorrel cook it will shrink down right so we're going to cover it and allow it to um seep all right guys this is how it's looking and you can see what i told you the style is just going to shrink down what we're going to do now is just let this um turn it off and let it seep here for our own um three hours and cool down before we proceed and you see how many water we get now if you want your sorrel to be um the jelly to be more then you know you can add more sorrel more of everything right but for now we just want to um, do a small amount so this is what we get and you see how rich the liquid is that's what you want to look for you don't want to use a little um little bit of sorrel and then you know you know get such a nice result you want to ensure your spices are there um the flavor is there um you're using enough sorrel to um so you see how it look like a concentrate that's what i want you guys to look for smells so nice guys oh my gosh and you know if you're doing um if you're doing like any recipe like um you can use it to glaze tofu see it on um the meatballs that you see me did you can use it. it's very versatile you can eat it and um use it to eat with crackers bread anything you like you can just have it with it all right so we're going to just allow that to just um cool down a bit then we strain it off all those flavors bring together that's what we want what we're going to do guys if you prefer to have your sorrel jelly um with a lot of the sorrel fiber it's okay but i personally don't like it so what i'm going to do is just strain it out you want to make sure you get out all of that goodness of the sorrel you don't want to waste it right And also straining it also helps to remove the, the um the clove remember the clove would be too small now to try and pick out all right what you want to do is to return the sorrel extract to the heat we're going to add our sugar see how nice and rich it is guys trust me very nice you want to make sure guys you continuously stir it all right we're going to add in our lime juice and the lime juice is what is going to make the um the jelly come together all right guys this is about 40 minutes of reducing now what you want to do in your sauce pot when you start to see that little um coagulation happening at the side you just scrape it down because that is the jelly that we want right so you just continue to scrape that down and I'm getting tons of idea with this jelly that I can do for you guys but God's willing I'll show you a couple recipe okay when you see your sorry um, jelly start coming together what I want you to do is to reduce the heat you don't want to burn this all right and you want to I don't want you to step away from your pot either because I want you to continue to scrape down right and you see how nice our jelly look I still want it to reduce a little tops more and then we are finished
beautiful recipe we have here guys a way you can know when your jelly is ready you see look at this back of the spoon if you like the consistency then you can remove the um the pot off the heat if you want it to go a little bit more um continue all right guys i want to make sure you get a nice clean jar right we're going to pour the sorrel in it our sorrel jelly there you have it guys a nice sorrel jelly i hope you give this recipe a try look at that spread very nicely and it's not too pulpy at all because i don't like it like that right and you can make your sorrel um, jelly however you like it right very nice thank you so much guys for watching this video until next time bye